Okay, quick review on the Jet 2MK. This is a single CR123 flashlight. Now, I uh, bought this light, and I'll put links on where you can get it. I'll put a couple different places. I'll put, like, GearVest, Amazon, and, and maybe a few others. Um, I ended up paying, actually, relatively cheap. I got this on sale for, like, 16 bucks. It's normally, like, a $20, $25, sometimes even $30 light. But I, you know, just kind of waited and got it for relatively cheap. Now, I bought it because I have the other versions of this light, the Jet 1 MK and the Jet U, which are the AA and AAA version of this light. Now, this one takes a single CR123 or a rechargeable 16340. It's a twist head design with a pocket clip. It's got that goofy gas, yeah, glass breaker uh, threaded uh, stop, which is kind of stupid, you know, because it really affects the light from tail standing. It'll tail stand, which makes it wobble, you know. It's got that orange peel reflector, glass, stainless steel bezel, you know. And it's got that, that normal uh, jet beam uh, user interface for this series, which is pretty much turn it on. And you got your moonlight, you know, and then you basically cycle through three different modes. And we'll show you that a little better in a second. All right. So the good, the bad, the ugly. The good. Um, not a bad price for a CR123 light. You know, like I said, in that $20, $25 range, it's not a bad, and it's actually a good performer. This is a 500 lumen light in the high mode, and I ended up getting like 52 minutes out of it in the high mode, and then it has a like a 100 lumen load and like a 3 lumen mode. Uh, I checked them all. I got like 515 and then like 130 and then like 3. So the mode ratings do come up. Like I said, I did get uh, like 52 minutes <coughs> out of high. So I know that their, their ratings on the box are all fairly accurate. You know, the anization, I like this anization they're using. You know, a little knurling there on the head. Um, yeah. All right, the bad. Um, not the best for pocket carry. CR123 lights are very tough to carry in the pocket. They're short, so if you tend to reach into your pocket and reach past them, it's very easy to pull them back up and out because they are so wide and so small usually. So they tend not to be the best for pocket carry. I've just found that to be experience. The only CR123 lights I've ever found that I've carried that I really enjoyed carrying uh, were Olights, you know, because they have that really good pocket clip. Um, other bad is that you can see here, uh, applying pressure to the head will turn the light on. Uh, the threads are a little... Okay, so I guess the threads could be a little tighter. So there is a little bit of kind of wiggle wobble in the head. We'll ever focus. No, we'll never focus again. You guys have to watch the rest of this out of focus. All right, let's hold still for a second. There we go. Hello, world. Uh, so like I said, the uh, threads are a little uh, kind of coarse in this. So it does create that... Uh, where you can turn it on just by applying a little pressure to the head. There'd be a lot of times where I'd be sitting at work, I'd look down and see that little red glow in my pocket, and that was just because, you know, my pocket was putting pressure on the light and uh, causing it to turn on. That did not happen with the Jet 1 and the Jet U. And I think what it is, is we just have a bigger light, and I think they just didn't, you know, take the time to spec out the threads a little better to give the head a little better fit. You know, the, the Jet U and the Jet 1, the heads are really, really super tight. The head on this is a little loosey-goosey, to be honest. You know, I, I kind of don't like that about it. Um, I did have a lot of accidental turn-ons in my pocket with this, where I didn't with the smaller ones. You know, I think maybe maybe the guy who designed this light just kind of fell asleep at the wheel is lazy, because the, uh, the other two lights in the series are really, really fantastic, and this is just kind of like, meh. Um, the ugly. This pocket clip is downright ugly and worthless. It literally, you can see it just, it's so loose it just spins completely freely and it pops off like anything. It takes like no effort to pop it off. This thing went bing out of my pocket like five times. It's fell off a bunch of times. Um, probably one of the worst pocket clips on a light above, I mean this is the kind of pocket clip you get on like a $5 light. Once again, the pocket clips on the Jet U and the Jet 1 were really good. I don't know. Whoever designed this light was not the same dude who looked, you know, like two really, really good 
attention to detail lights, and then this one just kind of like meh. So, yeah. So we're going to shut off some lights here. Give you a little look at the beam patterns. Ooh, dark. Now we'll probably never focus. Um, so you can see there is your low mode, which is just a couple of lumens. You can see we're not seeing any PWM. Pulse width modulation, which is cool. And the mode changes on this are kind of tough too, guys. You know, like it really takes, like you really got to hit it just right to change the modes. There is, ooh, let's zoom out. There is your medium. You can see the focus on the edge of the beam is really nice. Uh, the hot spots are not very well defined. You don't get a ton of throw out of this guy because uh, it's a very wide hot spot. You got to remember, this is just pointing at the floor. You're talking like 24 inches and it's still got a very diffused hot spot. So this is a very close up only light. You're not going to get a ton of distance out of this. And also too, note that the, the tint is actually very nice. Uh, it's a very uh, in between, uh, I'd say, I'd say it's a little closer to neutral white than cool white, in my opinion. And there is the high. You can see, kind of that is a nice focused little beam. That high is really uh, a nice uh, bright 500 lumens. Really, really super handy. You're getting 50 minutes of this, guys. So, yeah. So, as you can see, the mode operation is pretty simple. Low. There we go. Low, medium, high. That's it. Nothing else. So you can see here, you know, it's missing the changes. you got to really kind of give it a, a second to change those modes. So, there it is, guys. That's the Jet 2. Not the biggest fan. Uh, a little disappointing of a light. You know, I, I would I buy it again at 16 bucks? Yes. Would I buy it at 30 No. You know, to be honest. So, there it is, guys. It's a... Uh, not terrible, but there's a lot of better lights on the market for, you know, a little bit more. Is I guess I mean there's really is I, I, yeah. Let's just be honest. There's really no twenty dollars CR one twenty three lights that are really that good. So I think this does have the price you know category locked up at twenty. But once you get into the thirties and the forties, there are some really good CR one twenty three lights that just blow this out of the water. So there it is. Not the best, not the worst, but you know. Definitely not my favorite light I've ever bought.